Over six million visitors attend the Oktoberfest. None of the operators are prepared to take a risk when it comes to safety. The same applies when it comes to the assembly of the rides. A particularly spectacular example is the Olympia looping. Their guests can race through the loops at 100 kilometers an hour. The dimensions of the roller coaster are gigantic. 86.5 meters long and 32.5 meters high. This makes it even taller than the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin. And it has to be assembled in only a few days' time. The steel giant isn't ready for operation yet. The biggest loop is still missing. The roller coaster builders face their greatest challenge. But first, the workers diligently retighten every screw and bolt. The 40 ton black loop consists of seven separate elements, the highlight of the Olympia roller coaster. It's important that the sections are inspected for transport damage or defective lights before the giant structure is assembled. Two covers are missing and something's bent here. We'll fit a couple of new covers. It's obviously easier here than at 25 meters up. This saves work later on and valuable time for operator Michael Bart. Assembly of the giant loop begins. Installation of the 10-ton bottom section alone is a complex procedure for crane operator Michael and his team. Something that would be impossible without everyone acting in concert. Michael, up a bit on the fine gear. Good. Johnny, you pull a bit. You have to pull a bit. Over there, towards the red loop. Michael, swing left a bit. Ropes off. Part one, done. The large semicircle that goes on top is even more complicated. It's at the crane's limit and has to be exactly positioned via four points. You have to pull with the chain tensioners, and it's pretty high up for the workers, which is not everyone's cup of tea. But first, the second base section of the black loop has to be fixed securely in place inside the roller coaster's frame. A total of five massive steel tracks form the upper section of the loop. It looks like a circle from the front. The circle can't be flat, though, as the entrance and exit have to be slightly offset. In the case of the large loop, this amounts to 15 meters at the bottom. The semicircle droops down slightly due to the chains. We have to bend it a little so that it fits into the attachment points that are already up there. It's pretty tricky. Sometimes it works first time round. Let's see. The 20 ton semicircle is almost too heavy for the crane. Michael maneuvers the black steel monster extremely carefully toward the ride. Precise insertion, an extreme challenge for the crane operator. It's about 30 meters from the crane cab to the loop. It's a pretty long way to judge things with the naked eye. Sometimes you lower the loop and think it's in the joint, but it could be just resting on the edge. And if you then lower it too quickly, it can jump out again. So we have to work with great sensitivity and make sure the loop slides home very slowly. Minute by minute. The workers fight centimeter by centimeter with a virtually immovable semicircle, 20 meters above the ground. Then, after 20 minutes. Now we have to secure the loop. The technical inspection is scheduled for next week. We now have three or four days left. Just a few days to assemble the rest of the track, install the trains, and get the braking system working.
the roller coaster isn't the only thing starting to take shape. The other ride operators are gradually getting their attractions set up too.